Coyote, that must be a pretty satisfied dressing room after coming out on top of a very closely fought Lancashire derby. Very, very satisfied. Um, clean sheet, three points against one of the uh, favourites of the division. And, you know, the, the run continues and, you know, Eckington Stanley stock rises a bit more. It was really tough going out there. It was two teams like a chess match in the, in the first half. How did you get the edge? Um, yeah, it was very tough and a very hard fought match, like you said. Um, but we just, you know, kept kept going. Um, you know, kept kept that belief that we've, um, you know, discovered in recent weeks. And you know, we just kept grinding out and you know, trying to play play our game. And you know, luckily enough for, for us, we managed to come out on top. Manager said there were a few conversations at half time just about the, the forward players getting involved a bit more. You, you certainly proved that in that second period. Yeah, definitely. And uh, obviously, me and um, me and George in particular probably wasn't. One of our better games in the first half with, with the high standards that we've um, set ourselves on a personal level and as a team. So, um, yeah, he just said obviously he needed a bit more from us and uh, rightly so. And like you said, luckily enough, we managed to produce the goods in the second half. The, the penalty turned out to be a key moment, didn't it? And Danny Webber icing his veins to take that one. Yeah, definitely. You know, he wouldn't want really anyone else uh, taking it and uh, dispatched it well. And he um, had, a, had a massive impact on the game when he come on. But that's the, that's the quality he possesses. And um, that's, um, you know, the quality that we have got throughout the squad now. Speaking of quality, excellent goal by yourself, if you don't mind me saying. Um, you're known for your aerial threat and, and, and the physical stuff, but deft little turn in the penalty area. Well, I needed to do something with the game I was having, but no, um, like you said, yeah, the ball came and I knew exactly what I wanted to do as I saw it sort of drop out and you know luckily enough I managed to put it away. Obviously there's lots of competition for places forward areas particularly D do you feel you've, you've got an obligation to weigh in and, and chip in? Um, yeah like there's like I said um, the the, uh, squ the squad that the gaffers now you know produced here there's a uh, competition throughout the whole squad not just the uh, forward positions but yeah when there is that competition obviously it keeps you on your toes and if you're not performing you know there's someone who's more than good enough to come in and keep the place so if you want to stay in the team you've got to perform and that's the way it should be Lots of talk about being level headed not getting carried away but it's eight games without defeat th three straight wins in, in the league now what's changed um to be honest, not much because, like I said, you know, previously the gaffer has always maintained that he's got so much belief in his squad, and he's always told us, you know, not to get down. You know, at the start of the season, not to get down when um, the performances weren't going our way. And same way that now they are, and we're getting the results, not to get carried away again. It's the level headed is definitely, you know, being the key, not to get carried away with the disappointments or with the good times too. And lastly, from me, are you expecting Ryan Cresswell to follow you on? Um, I'm not sure. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? You better ask him. Actually, I don't know what he's up to, but you know they're a good team. They've got a good, uh, a lot of good players and a good manager. And I'm sure you know, come the end of the season, they'll be there or thereabouts. Thank you. <laughs>